What's up everybody? This is Jose. Hey Katie. We are about to drive through a thunderstorm in South Georgia that has tornadoes and that has produced tornadoes. Um, there's no tornadoes on the ground right now, but anything can change. This this has the potential to have tornadoes in it. Uh, even if it doesn't have tornadoes, we're gonna see a, a very intense storm, I believe. Um, and I don't think it has tornadoes in it yet on the tornado tracker, but it will probably by the time we get there. So, um, is this the distance to our, to our destination? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are in Georgia. We just left the state of Florida. We're entering Georgia, and these storms have pushed tornadoes through Mississippi, Alabama, um, and now Georgia. Um, there's been tornadoes, I think, three days in a row now through this region of the country. And this is uh, a really nasty storm we're going to drive through. And we'll see what happens. Um, can you open up the tornado tracker for me real quick? Yes. Let me see what it's looking like. I, when I looked at it, it looked, oh, it looks nasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to drive through a really nasty storm. And in fact, there is a big pocket of pink outside of Moultrie. So... Main bridge, so it's possible there is a tornado. Uh, there's a tornado warning. Look, show it. What's the last tornado warning for Georgia? For Macon and Millageville. That was yes. That was the, the one that came to last night. You can see thunderstorm. So it's not quite a tornado warning yet, but I, I think this this will probably have tornadoes. We'll find out. Um, there's no tornadoes on the ground yet, but it's. From my experience already, you know, the time I've been doing these videos in the south, I'm pretty sure this one's going to eventually lead to tornadoes. Um, it's looking nasty. Oh, wow. Yeah, this and looks it hasn't nasty. Even started raining. Yeah, yeah, we're not this even in is it. Like, this is the outer. This outskirts. is what it's like when tornadoes come around. Yeah, it's not is, exactly raining. Yeah. But it's dark. Yeah, this is a scary looking storm. And I know that from living in Alabama and seeing the tornadoes. Yeah. But yeah, that's the thing about living in the South, dude. You're always like, remember when we lived in Alabama? Like, it was like... Tornado and the, tornado. So like, the town we lived in Alabama has had a tornado hit it the last three years in a row. Yeah. And I think last night, remember that I sent you that screenshot? Yeah. There was another tornado right over it? Yep. So this area is just horrendous. Last, was it last year? Noonan got hit directly by a tornado, and yeah. now LaGrange gets hit by a tornado. Hopefully, we can make it by to, uh, to the area that had. Look at that guy. Look at all the gear he's got. He's a tornado tracker. Oh, yeah. Can you catch how much gear he had inside oh, his truck? Oh, my gosh, yeah. That guy is a tornado tracker for sure. Yep. Maybe he's one of those um, the live storm tracker people. Mm. The amount. Do you see how much gear he had inside his thing? Yeah. I bet you he's live streaming right now. But I want to. I want. I don't want to do it as a live stream. Um, we could do it as a live stream, but it could fail with the signal. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it's starting to rain already. Okay, we're doing this. Wow, it's windy. You can feel the car shaking. Wow, this is scary. That dude's definitely a tornado tracker. He had all types of gadgets and stuff inside his car. Mm -hmm. All right, we're in this. Look how fast these clouds are moving. This is going to be a scary storm. And you know, I want to do it not live. I think live, like, it's great because you can captivate the audience right away. A lot of people are watching live, but what I don't like about live is, like, like the video quality is usually really sketchy. We got rainstorms, so I want to capture it like this. Dude, this is so scary. Look at those clouds over there. Yeah. There's definitely going to be tornadoes on this one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I wonder if that is that one of those, like, uh, the live storm chaser YouTuber. They got people all over the country. Lemon pound cake. Let me get away from I'm going to have to make a lemon pound cake on my channel because all I've heard for the last few days is lemon pound cake. That's the semi right here. I don't want to be prepared on the semi. The storm looks scary, dude. Lemon pound cake. I think you're asking me to make you lemon I don't think pound we're cake gonna, at this point. I don't think we're going to make it to our... Look how fast this cloud's moving over us right now. Mm -hmm. That cloud is moving fast. Dude, stay on the tornado tracker. I think at any moment the tornado is going to pop up. Yeah. Worst comes to 
works, we can stop in Simpson. We might not be able to make it to our destination tonight. There is a place. Look how fast these clouds are moving over us. Mm -hmm. Let me back up a little bit so they can see better. Yeah. These clouds directly over us are just flying. Yeah. They're moving very fast. We had Simpson in 45 minutes, but it's real early. So we gotta try and get past it. I think our best option is to try to pass it. Mm -hmm. you know, once we pass it, we'll start heading west. Yeah. We gotta get through it. Yeah. Also, see which can you see which direction it's moving in? Usually they're moving towards the east, but it could be moving towards the north. They're, they're moving towards the like north east. Uh, I hope there's no hail in this. I already heard one hard while with the thunder. I hope there's no hail in this one. Usually when there's hail, you'll get a warning on. So this thing. So many semis, dang. So many semis on the road. I don't want to parallel in semis when you start getting in the heavy rain band. No. Especially with wind. Yeah. It may just be too dangerous. I, that's one thing. I'll drive to the most dangerous neighborhood in America without a problem. I don't like driving on the road. Worth of Tifton, you're not having storms. And that's 45 minutes from here. The worth of Tifton. We just gotta get there. That's the thing, we just gotta make it there. What the crap is up with these windshield wipers leaving stains on the window? All oh, these freaking semis. And then they all wanna speed. Pay attention, like, there's gonna be like a really loud thunder strike and all this shit. Yeah. Look at this like stain that it's bleeding where it stops. Yeah. Right, here we go. Keep an eye on the tomato tractor. Hail. Yeah. The, uh, I've got the weather channel on and uh the tractor. Tornado tractor. Yeah. Wow. Look at these semis, dude. They're like flying through this crap. Like, they're not slowing down for it at all. I'm already passed on it by a semi on the right. I'm not going to go any faster. This scares me more than going to a road. This right here is so dangerous. Name in pound cake. Pound cake. Yeah, there's something active at the moment. Well, you've got a semi behind you, but it's flying at 65 miles an hour. Yeah. They don't seem like they want to stop or slow down even. I think I'm just going to let them pass me. It's not really worth trying to pass semis in this crap. Yeah. I'm going to just slow down behind the semi. Them, if they want to kill themselves, let them. I'm not going to go any faster. 45 miles an hour, you can't see nothing. Yeah. You want to go faster, go ahead, dude. Imagine getting caught in a tornado and you're behind a semi. There's like no chance of no yeah. escaping that crap. Yeah. 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 I'd rather go 40 miles an hour right here and not a ton of rush. Yeah. It is not worth dying. We're going 45, 50 miles, you can stop if there's a like really big wind gust. Keep refreshing it. Right. Any squares pop up yet for red? Nope, pop up. A lot of times these vents will have tornadoes yeah. and you won't even be able to tell. You know, like they don't really, until after they pass, you don't know. Yeah. That, that was twice when we were in Alabama. Where like the storm would pass like this and you knew it would have a tornado, but there wouldn't be a tornado warning. It was just out of nowhere to be a tornado. They weren't able to predict it. So these types of storms, you do have to be careful with them. 
Lemon pound cake, pound cake, lemon pound cake, pound cake. These are called like super cell storms. There's one super cell to the left of us. That looks pretty nasty. It's like all pink and purple on the map. It's clearing up around here. Yeah. Lemon pound cake. Pre-collision system unavailable. Our collision system is unavailable. Okay. It's off. No what? stopped for some reason right here. Yeah, when it gets really wet, there it turns off. Refresh it. Zoom in, Katie. Put it on toggle map and zoom in. Zoom in. Okay. See if there's any super cells. Zoom in even more. Right to the area you're at. There's that car that had all that, all that crap in it. That little car right there? Yeah. Oh, they're definitely storm There here. is a pink spot. Coming at us? No. It's got bigger. Oh, it's up in the road. It's up by Boston. Is he? So that's going to intercept us. That's probably a tornado. Yeah. I mean, it is going to intercept us. That's the little car right here that's coming. It's got all the devices and crap yeah. in it. This little car might be a storm shape. We're past all that stuff. The way the storm is moving, I'm looking at the weather channel, that we probably... Look at the semi, look at the semi, he's gonna hit the car! He's gonna hit the car, look at that! Oh my god, oh my god. What the crap? That, that semi is disrespectful, bro. Look at that. He's literally riding right it's on the... The storm is moving south. It's moving south? No, it's not. You know that, no, it's not moving at you, bro. Kind of moving south. Yeah. That south's been moving towards us the whole time. You make a horrible meteorologist. Okay. <laughs> like, well, my experience telling you it was safe to come back. But what? Uh, yeah, you're not a good meteorologist. Oh yeah, he was out kayaking at night, and he asked me for a weather. I almost died. I, I literally went kayaking in the middle of the ocean with a supercell because Katie, I let Katie, I asked Katie for a weather report. She's like, oh honey, you'll be okay. I wouldn't even worry about it. Five minutes later, there's like 10 foot waves. The wind was behind me. I made it from Wiggins Pass back to like US 41 in like three minutes. Running ten foot waves, and I, I'm like, Katie, what did I? What did you tell me? I said you were fine, honey. What's wrong? I'm like, hello, super snow. Yeah, you're a horrible meteorologist. I've I've seen that happen. Don't if ever. If you had seen the weather report, what would you have done? The opposite of what you said, possibly? Yeah, quite literally the opposite of whatever you said. What would you have done? Hunker down and wait it, dude. Mm -hmm. She literally told me to go back at night kayaking as the supercell's moving in. I rode 10 foot waves down Wiggins Pass. I'm not even kidding you. I didn't, I, I didn't even know. I've never seen waves, down, like 10 foot waves on Williams Pass. There was literally 10 foot waves down the pass all the way to the bridge. Mm -hmm. The waves were so big that when I landed my canoe, my it was a kayak. Mm -hmm. My kayak, went, the waves were so big that, the, that like I lay, I like the kayak like slid 10 feet off into the ground. I didn't even have to remove the kayak out of the water, like just flew out of the water. <laughs> Yeah, don't get your meteorology from Katie. Was it scary or 
they're fun. Dude, it was the most terrifying thing in my life. It's not funny. I think we'll be able to get across. What's it saying? Uh, should we keep going a little bit north? Yeah, just keep going. See, so it's giving us two routes. We'll take the middle route. Make sure we. Um, mm -hmm. How far? How far does it want us to stay on seventy five? Continue on I seventy five north for ninety miles. Ninety miles. Eighty one miles. When it gets like this, I always push over into the slow lane. When it's, when it's raining, I go into the slow lane by default. Barney. Normally I'm passing cars, passing semis. When it starts to rain, I move over to the right, slow it down, no rush. Okay. Good portion of accidents happen in the rain, even though it's not always raining. over to Douglas, Waycross, Jessup, Ooh, uh Oak Hill. It's going to be bad when it gets up that way. What a hill.
lightning to your fighting. Mm -hmm. I mean, lightning is frightening. Then they get hit by a tornado in the Dell yesterday. I think it's just yesterday got hit by a tornado here. Yeah. Keep an eye out for tornado damage. I think this time got hit by a tornado yesterday. The one tornado from yesterday came yeah. between Moultrie and Adele. So it's possible that there's going to be tornado damage right through here. Yeah. You'll know when you pass it. Yeah, I know what it looks like at this point. That's not so much of it, Alabama. Because the news doesn't cover the little ones. They cover. They go to Mississippi now and cover all that stuff over there. And all these other small little tornadoes. You'll like see over here. like patches, a path oh, yeah, of trees. You know. I think I hit by a tornado just yesterday. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, but the one that came between Moultrie and here was a tornado. Yeah. Oh no. It pushed to our arrival back to 1044. Oh, but that's this time from its own. Yeah.
down yeah. those pants, that's pretty cool. It's just on the edge of it now. You gotta be careful, there's always a lot of thunder strikes around the edge of his face. Mississippi, Mitsubishi. Two of the worst things you can have. Mississippi, Mitsubishi. Well, I've never seen a billboard advertise dogs. <laughs> Georgia. Georgia. Well, dog down there. You can get that spaniel you've been looking for <laughs> from a billboard. Mitsubishi. Mississippi. Two of the worst things that could happen to a human being. Being in a Mitsubishi in Mississippi is about as unfortunate a situation as you can have. I'd rather be in a Silverado in Florida or a Cadillac in Michigan. A sports car in California But please, please, please May I never find myself In a Mitsubishi In Mississippi Brand new Mazdas On their way to the scrapyard <laughs> they, they know they old crap yard down there I tell you what I think Mazda just picks their cars, takes them straight from the port to the scrapyard. That'd be if you're doing humanity a great day down there. Cuéntame como te ha ido, te has conocido un tornado en Georgia. Whoa! For being in the south, they sure have a lot of interesting billboards down here. We're on the edge of this thing, there'll be a lot of thunder strikes for sure. You alright? Yeah. Hold it in there, that look. So a little bit no 
even it's windy, we'll get there at 9 30. Yeah. Even windy roads are more dangerous than uh yeah. Those little windy roads are actually even more dangerous than uh than driving to the Warrior. So the 82 is a good road? Yeah, it's a bigger road. Yeah. Because the other roads, the I guess the road that goes for Dawson is a little bit bigger. And eight miles is where you're gonna get off. You know what I'm saying? At least the road that goes through Dawson mm -hmm. and that goes through all those towns is bigger. Because the roads north of you, they might allegedly save you more time. Do you really want to be on windy roads to the middle of nowhere in Georgia? Not really. I really wouldn't, yeah. No. I can't believe that there isn't a highway that goes in that direction from here. It's redundant, bro. Yeah. Both Georgia and Alabama both need that. Omega. Okay, so this is town of Omega. It's like 45% Hispanic. That's one of the towns on my to-do list. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most Hispanic places in Georgia. Of course, now it's not the thing to do it because it's getting no. crappy and late, but no. that town, when we come through here today, Yeah, time, I have, have a few it. places that I want to come through around here. So I think that's fine. I want to do more Georgia within the next few months. Well, it's, it's a day trip from where we are now. Yeah. We're two hours further north. That makes a huge difference. Yeah. Sure has to grab like over the tourist. Their their a business tourist attraction. Their their business sure has degraded over the centuries. We went from having a plantation to having a gas station. Yeah. <laughs> plantation gas station where Somebody it's like give those people some it's like the Jor it's the Georgia version of where we just went. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I passed the semi finally. Fair enough. I almost bought some jelly while we were there. Yeah, the jelly jars did look good. I know, the orange. I've been craving That would have made more sense jelly. on our way home than on our way out. Oh, we can still go there. Look at all these freaking billboards. We can go whenever we want. Look at all these billboards. Yeah. The land of billboards. They had a car. bunch of Jose stuff. Jaded? It's very racist. You're saying that. Dude, Dude, stop buying stupid gift shop tourist crap, man. It's like the dumbest thing you could spend your money on is gift, gift shops, not tourist traps. How dumb do you have to be? That's like, even people who get scammed know not to buy stuff from a freaking tourist trap. Cloud spinning right here, Katie. Look. Yeah. Dude, that is so terrifying. I know, right? I had this, orange this, juice. This cloud to the left of us yeah. is completely rotating. Are we turning left here soon? Four miles? Yeah, we're going to go to the right in about four miles. Dude, look at that crap. That's going to be a tornado. Look at it. You might want to record that with your phone. With that phone you got right there? That's going to turn into a tornado. The circulation on that? Katie. Yeah, I had orange Dude, juice. Dude, that is terrifying. Yeah, they were giving out free samples of orange juice. Was it any good? Best orange juice I have ever had. And you didn't invite me to it? You ain't crap. You saw me get it. No, I did not. You filled me drinking it. But you didn't tell me it was good. If you told me it was good, I would have tried it. I can't believe you would try something good without me. I said, go in there and get the orange juice. I hear you. What do I have to do? Get the cup for you? And bring it to you? Yeah, you should know how dumb I am by now. Like, if you don't realize by now that I don't listen to you, well, we've been married this long, you don't know that I don't listen to you. I thought you'd get mad and be like, why did you bring me a tourist orange juice? 
that cow and cow new down there. That's what you did the last time I brought you something good. You said, why do you bring me this tourist crap? I was like, they're giving it out for free. Yep, yep, they're, 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 and then you refused to have it. Yep. Because it was Rab probably tourist that place. That dang rabbit down there. That dang rabbit down there. I'll take my clear finally. Yeah, yeah. we'll be right kind of weird. We'll parallel the storm all the way back to him. Dude, that last cloud that was spinning over there looks so scary. So the town of Tifton doesn't like us. On our last video here, we were hoping they would get hit by a tornado so we could make a good video of it, and they did get hit by a tornado. Two they, don't like us. they don't like us to begin with. We're wishing the town got hit by tornadoes so we can get some good footage. Just that really didn't sit very well with them. I'm like, hey, I gotta eat, man. Hey, is intention where we had that food poisoning that one time? Yeah, they've hurt us. And yeah, right. Like they hurt people for their monetary enjoyment. So why is it right for Tifton oh, to get... Oh, you're going to get off here in about how, a mile. That's how hypocritical Tifton At is. exit 62. Don't talk over me, women. I'm telling you, get off the interstate. I told you not to talk over me, woman. Like I was saying, it's okay for them to give tourists on 75 food poisoning so they can make money, but I can't hope their town gets hit by a tornado so I can make money. That's pretty hypocritical. So it's okay for Tifton to give you food poisoning on the side of the road because they're selling old food to people One that are driving to town. Everybody, One everybody. The Albany and Waycross, right there. Everybody that gets food. Everybody that gets food. Half a mile. Take exit 62 for US 82, Georgia 520. And Tifton US gets food poisoning on the interstate. So it's okay for them to give us all food poisoning. But we can't hope their town gets hit by a tornado so we can make a video? That ain't right. This is your Because then you're like, why are you wishing our town gets this hit by a tornado? You like, gave me food you have no sympathy. You, yeah, you have no sympathy on my stomach. Why should I have sympathy on your trailer? You get hit by You know what I'm saying? Like, I had food poisoning for three days. Dude, yeah. In a quarter mile. A bunch of hypocrites. They get mad if you hope their town gets hit by a tornado so you can make some good YouTube videos. But then they don't have any, they don't care that we've been getting food poisoning every time we come to their nasty town. Hypocrites. Bunch of hypocrites. I had to stay in a motel. I woke up the next morning to see a pimp. Oh, we're going to get to see. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's not bad for the environment right there. Dude, we're going to get a really awesome view here. Mm -hmm. All these billboards. Is it strange that I don't live here, but I'm already familiar with this place? Yeah. It's crazy, dude. Like, I, I don't live here, but, like, I already know where we're at. Mm -hmm. It's odd. Wow, oh, crap. We're going to be driving back into the rain again. We're going to be paralleling the north end of this thing. It's probably like the worst yeah. case scenario is paralleling this crap. This is a pretty nice drive with all these billboards. There's that cookout you wanted to go to. Yeah, my stomach hurts just thinking about it. Mm. We'll, try, we'll get to Alabama we'll get some jacks. Yeah. It's like the only reason you should ever go to Alabama is to get jacks. Pretty much. When time Como te ha ido? Si has comido un chicken number eight and jacks. I'm sure there's some good food here that's quality and won't get you sick. I just haven't found it yet. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I'm not saying every restaurant in, in Valdosta and Tifton is going to give you food poisoning. I'm definitely not saying that. I just haven't found a restaurant that hasn't given me food poisoning. Yeah. I'm not saying there might be a restaurant in this town that won't give you food poisoning. It's definitely possible. I just haven't ran into it yet. Turn your hair lights on, you stupid hick. It hurt. What hurt? Food poison? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's like they want you to be sympathetic for their town getting hit by a tornado. They're not sympathetic about the tornado I had in the toilet after eating their nasty food. Bunch you of hypocrites. Make it. <laughs> hey, dude, stop talking crap about me, okay? 
I want you to know that I kind of hate you for that time for the rest of your life. And I hope you get diarrhea you're uncontrollably. There's a Publix. Probably going once they go to Columbus. Yeah, they're probably going to Alabama. Probably Auburn or Montgomery. Yeah. There's probably a few Publix's in Columbus. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's Publix. Uh, Publix. Uh, Publix, man. That was the one thing I was happy about that they had. I was able to shop at Publix in Prattville, Alabama. You know we should go to Prattville mm -hmm. and do a video like and have you know they have that Rambo downtown? Like have that be the cover photo and be like Prattville, the gayest place in Alabama. I think we did. Like no, like we haven't done that yet. No, we should. That'd be like a great trolling video. We should. Loves. Nastiest loves is the one over there. Oh my. This you're entering no man's land from here on. It's like nothing but like food poisoning, <laughs> bad customer service, racism, and you've left civilization. By the time you find yourself in this part of the country, you've left civilization. You you entered me, the land of Neanderthals. Hey, keep an eye out for uh, uh, Sylvester and Tai What towns are we in right now? We are. What towns are we? Let me know what towns we're gonna go to. Take take it off and let me know. I need to know what towns we're going to go through because I'm speeding. Oh, Tai Tai is up ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, do the Tai Let me know. Because Sylvester's we're... quite away. Sylvester and Tai Tai are both uh, yeah. speed trap towns. They've been, they've been waiting for me for a while now. Yeah, you're going to have to go to the speed limit. We've low. been expecting you, Mr. Rodriguez. I think we're only going through Sylvester because I don't see Tai Tai on the map. Keep an eye out for oh, it. Oh, there you go. I think Tai Tai is right by the road. Yeah. Whatever, just keep an eye out for those towns, okay? Yeah. What towns are we going through? Give me give me a list in order. Tai Tai. Okay. Which is right by the highway. Sumner. Mm-hmm. Poolin. Mm hmm We should do a video on Dawson at night. That's like the the what should we call him? Um Charlie Boo? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does that. Yeah, we'll, we'll be going through there after we go through Sylvester. Just make sure we, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get to where you are. Well, pay attention to where you are because every one of these little towns Continue is Georgia 520 West for 32 Yeah, miles. the speed limit's 55. You better go 55. I'm going 55. I got a squatted truck with beaming headlights behind me. Can't see crap. I don't yeah. think he... Does he even know I'm in front of him? I think you need to get into the slow piece lane. Of crap. Well, there's a car there now. Oh, gosh. Passing me on the right. I'm not going to speed through here for real. Yeah. It's just like speed trap. Get in the other lane. I will. You know what? There he goes. Well. All right. You're the one's going to kill yourself. I was going to move out of the way if you waited one second, but. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a jerk about it, go right ahead. The way I was gonna move out of the way, I just couldn't with that car on the right. Yeah. Oh, it's a Ford. It's a Ford. It's a Ford. Yeah. Didn't they have a saying about get Fords in the, Alabama? Get out of the way. Fix it again, Tony. Yeah. That's Fiat. No. F. Fix or repair daily. That's awesome. Yeah, I was in a couple of Facebook groups in Alabama. They what does it smell like shit and crap? Because you're in I love these Georgia. jacked up tractors, dude. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Smells like shaking crap. Look at the sunset. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Wow. What a sunset, man. Could you flash a camera over toward it? I'm yeah. sorry. You're not even speaking English. You're like, can I flash a Victorian? I'm like, uh, Spike English? <laughs> I gotta love these people in the South. Spike English. I'm like, uh, you spike English. 
my no, I don't speak English. I speak English, but I don't speak English. You need to speak English. These stupid people out here, bro. You need to speak English. I'm like, no, you need to speak English. You need to speak English. Y'all need a nice you, you need to speak English. I'm like, uh, no, y'all need to speak English. They got that dang old speckle crap down there. Y'all need to speak English. The only thing fun about the South is making fun of their accents and stuff. They get really angry. It's like, they're like, you guys are all a bunch of sensitive little pricks. You get offended so easily. Make fun of their accents. That's the thing, like, you have to know where to poke the bear. And I know how to poke the bear. You want to poke the bear? Make fun of their accents. I'm going 55 miles an hour and not a mile faster, okay, buddy? So if you're going to pass me in your semi truck, go right ahead. I have enough problems in my life without meeting a Georgia State Trooper. Catching a Regal case out here for speeding. That's 45, okay. Okay, but I ain't, I ain't speeding. Katie, you're supposed to tell me when we enter these towns. Yeah. You have to go slow. Yeah, I know that because that's, I'm the one that told yeah, you when. Yeah, yeah. I'll, look at, I'll look at the, the dash. Tie tie. Yeah, you're in there, tie tie. Tat-tat-tat. You're the names right there. They are tat 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 You know it sounds redneck when even the name sounds redneck. tat 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 One thing I like about this is I'm just laughing at these people. They're like, tat 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 How does your name, how does a town get a name like? Like, that's how, you know, like the people, like, what are them people's towns called down there? Like, I don't know, man. Like, it was supposed to be called Thai. And then uh, somebody was just like, somebody was a little sauce. Dude. And said, tat tat. No, that's just like so backwards. Like when they were trying to name the town. The They're like, oh, that's too little. The people oh, we got to have another syllable. Let's just do tat tat. Tat tat. Like, like, the people, like when they were naming their town, like the people from the other towns mm -hmm. had like no idea what their town was called. Like, what's that town down there? Like, I don't know what to call them. Say, hey, man, uh, what's your town called? Tat, 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 tat. Like, I, he said tat, tat. I'm like, that doesn't sound like a town. He said tat, tat. I was calling another place. Hey, man, uh, what's your town called down there? Tat, 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 tat. <laughs> tat, tat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's your town called? Tat, tat. You can go 55. Hey, look. 55 again. Okay, we'll speed it back up. I'm not even driving with my foot, I'm driving with my hand. I'm gonna set up 55 and that's it. Yeah. And that tat tat. Yeah. How does your town get a name like that? Look it up. Tai Tai, how do they get their town name? Of course it's raining, so the sheriff isn't gonna get rained on. It's only 45 at night in a small town, they're not gonna be getting rained on. And then believe me, if they are getting rained on and give you a ticket, they are definitely giving you a ticket when you get pulled over. Uh, do you know? It's been a doesn't even say how long it's been a town. They don't know. They don't know. Right, how long have you guys been a tat tat? Right. Let's, uh, let's call the mayor's office and see if they have historical records. They don't have historical records. They just say that, you know, the store, there were 353 people in 1890. But know. it doesn't have any information on the town. Hey. Just that the town is a so you go on it's not even a square mile. You go on Wikipedia? Yeah. And the information you get like from 1890. Look at the sunset. Wow. Look at this sunset. And they're losing population. They it's like they have more people. They in gained some people in the nineties, but then since 2010 they've lost people. They've lost almost a hundred people. Can you stop talking over me like a freaking heck? Right. I'm talking, don't it's talk. It's 15%. I just uh, told you not to do it, and you went ahead and do it. It's 15% age, Jose. Okay, let take them, okay. It's like, the 
us a call and find out there's a queue. Tell me some about your town's history. Do you guys have any records down there? Are you going on Wikipedia and like the census information is from like 1890? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most towns like, okay, here's the information. The only thing it says, Tata -ta is in Don't talk over me. Burr. Why do you have the, as soon as I start talking, you have to start talking over me. What, what are you, a dog or something? You hear somebody barking, you gotta bark too? Burr. Go ahead and talk. The only information is, okay, it takes its name from the nearby. I can't even Tigre. understand what you said. Here's what I, here, here's the The Doberman take the big the mailman down there, not mm. for the drink. The town is named after a creek called Tata Creek. The Tata 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 talk like a human. Why do you talk like a hit? I am. I'm talking like I'm me. I'm talking. I'm talking. You're not even talking. You're talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. He's named after the Tai Tai Creek. And then Tat Tat Creek down there. Mm-hmm. And that is the only thing about the whole t the whole place well, you is named after Tai Tai Creek. Yeah, that town, Tat Tat. You even have like a cough in there, like get a. <laughs> you even have like a cough in there. That's like that's how you know you're talking to a like 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 a real hick. They're like like there's like coughs and clicking noises, like you're from some Zulu tribe. Like, people in Georgia typing. That's the sound of keyboards in Georgia right now. Yeah. These people are, they don't even have a sense of humor. And you get By the time you get to Alabama, people don't even have a sense of humor anymore. I think that's why people in Alabama really like this, is because like, the place is so dry, they don't even have comedy. Yeah. Like, if they discover our channel, like, man, that was funny. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I laughed. I haven't laughed since 1865. <laughs> that didn't sound right. <laughs> it's just been tears ever since. No, but one, I was, <laughs> no one in my family has laughed. People since in Alabama typing. <laughs> People in Alabama typing. <laughs> we haven't laughed since 1865. You brought laughter to our town. I'm serious. Like that's why a lot of people in Alabama like followed us like crazy. I think a lot of people in Alabama followed us because, like, there's nothing, it's, like, culturally dead. Like, somebody making a joke yeah. is, like, unheard of. Yeah. It's, like, they don't even have laughter in their culture. If you make a joke, like, oh, my gosh, was that, oh, I haven't heard a joke in decades. Yeah, no, what's that? I, I laughed. I've never laughed in my life. Oh, what's that? What is it? That's laughter. I saw that on TV once. Yeah. And, and I'm doing turn, it. And we turn it off. We don't want change around here. We don't want no change. I had to turn it off because I haven't laughed. I've never laughed. And now I laughed. I don't know what you're saying because you sound like a dick for sure. Yeah. Okay. Get up, See those clouds up there? Yeah. 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 Remember this gas station here? <laughs> well, there's one gas station. Remember we went in, they were like selling ammo and like you could buy like a whole you could buy stuff in this gas station that's prohibited probably like a 95% of the world. <laughs> yeah. I just get that. Put that right. You can buy like a whole rifle, not even like like the type. Like you can buy like the like the biggest machines you can imagine. Look at these clouds right here moving. Yeah. They're moving fast, man. So we're paralleling the storm now. The storm is to the south of us on the left. So we're kind of driving on the northern edge of the storm. If you were to drive just yeah, you won't be five, in town soon. Probably if you later. drive five miles south of here, it's raining yeah. already. Kind of like on the northern edge of the storm. Yeah. Why is it you keep talking over me? I'm not talking over you. 
As soon as I start talking, your mouth opens to talk over me. I'm right? not trying to talk over you. Yeah, you are. You're not doing it consciously, you're doing it like subconsciously. I like, am talking to you. That can't be true. This is still a day trip, all the way up here. Yeah. And we're still in the, we're going the first. I think where we're at now is so much advantageous, advantageous for us to travel. Yes. Because, I mean, like, our videos that make us the most money are in this region of the country, but I don't want to live out here. Like, I'll make some videos for you, but I ain't living out here. I've had enough of that already in my life. Cadillac on 22 with a blonde head gasket. You gonna need a good mechanic. Gotta go 55 here. I'm going 56. Okay, one mile per hour. Blue skies again. Interesting. We went from like nighttime to daytime again. Imagine if we had a car so fast you could change the weather. So we should probably okay. We should probably start flying for the faraway places. Yes. Yeah. It'll cost us probably less than our cross country road trips. You'll get less content out of it. Awesome. I guess if you were to like go in, rent a car, you'd have like a whole, if you got an early flight so you're there at like a good time, bar right there. you can get like a whole day's worth of video, a whole few days in an area, you still get the same amount of content like for as you be on the road. We're yeah. going to drive to Seattle, we're going to have to fly there. Yeah. And, you know, plane tickets are cheaper if you only get one. If you try to get in between me and an orca, we going to have problems. Get your own life. You don't need to use my resources for your personal endeavors. That's, That's the right. thing. If I go to Seattle, I go to Seattle because I got to work there. Maybe, maybe it's a ton of girl, but I'm not going there to entertain you. You get between... Me and an orca, you are in trouble. Well, if you get between me and you not getting a job, you're in trouble. You don't have to charge that phone, it's just about hit 20% mark. Alright. Okay. Just don't get between me and orcas. Yeah, don't, don't down there. I'm not getting between you and the only thing that's getting between you and an orca is your unemployment rate. I'm working on that. You already applied for your state test? Yeah. Are you lying about this or no? I know you lie about doing stuff. I applied. <laughs> You're like, has a tunnel. I want you going to that. I'm going to go to the that. It would be awesome to do some videos in Dawson. It's that town where, like, um, dang, there's not even enough signal to, we're in Sylvester, okay, keep an eye out for speed limit, no, 45, speed trap, hey, they have a Walmart here, dang, they have a Walmart here, dude, look, they have a Walmart, it's not a big Walmart, but they have it. What's that mean? I applied. You applied for your state test? I, no, I applied and they had to approve. Okay, you applied. Say with me, applied. Applied. Not you applied. I applied, honey. <laughs> I applied. I applied down there. Can you imagine that? Well, you're in New York right now. Here's you call your realtor in Florida. Hey, Katie. Hey, look, we're looking to move down there. Okay, right, get that plane down there. <laughs> like, okay, we'll call you back, Click. Gotta put up with you. 
put in a loan application. Loan pad in here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why do you do this? Like, you just pick up these hick- I got- I've been dealing with this problem for years now, like, even trying, like, if, imagine if I just left you off the ring, like, if I just never checked you for it, just let you keep going Don't with it. check me for it! Don't check me- Piggly Wiggly Piggly Wiggly 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 Yeah, finally, okay. Our first Piggly Wiggly on this trip. Our first Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly, Piggly Wiggly, Piggly, Piggly, Piggly. I went, like, once or twice. There, yeah. First of all, they don't have anything good. It's expensive. It's expensive! And the South is known for not being expensive. It was expensive. It really was. And I, I really did not like the South. Like, I didn't like anything there. I didn't really like it. Like, I literally it's like, okay, went to Publix. You're... It, a grocery was store, to get to. A grocery store in the South... Mm -hmm would make sense that they would be affordable. And I, we had a discount grocery store by our house. I did not like it and I went like twice. Yeah. It's, it's like you would think that people in the South, you could actually, when it comes to grocery shopping, Yeah. Publix really is the go-to place. I know people yeah, are it's like, like you take your poop down, shake down that tablet down well, there. I go in there and it smells like rotting fruit. Yeah, it's nasty. Bro. And then I'm like, why would I put this in my body? It's like, really? That, yeah, it's not good stuff, man. I was never impressed much. Yeah. Not much. But look at all the donks right here. There's usually like a bunch of donks right there. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and they're all for sale. Cool. That's good to know. Not for Katie. Yeah, and you. when I was in Alabama, it was like I was actually eating healthy in Alabama. It's like I would you know why? Because the restaurants suck so bad mm -hmm. that we should start eating healthy just to eat healthy. Because mm -hmm. you didn't have a choice. We got to go back to what the pancakes you were making me in Alabama. The pancakes and that salmon. I had a pee so bad. That salmon was good. I make a good salmon. We should probably eat salmon more often. I got salmon down there. I want salmon. I want to have some white fish. <laughs> the look on Jose's face is that like that got lost in translation there. I thought salmon was white fish. Oh snap! You didn't hear that coming. <laughs> salmon is like. The bottle of white fishes you're gonna Pink. make. No, that's white fish. Turn your lights on, you're in a semi, dang it. I thought salmon was white fish. It's 45 around here. Notice that there's not even enough signal for the map to know where we are. No, like a good map. Bear corn. We're entering the south. Yeah. And start seeing giant signs for deer corn. Okay, back to 55 again. Paint trap down there. Dude, the map is like blurred out. It's just a blur. Cause it's on this one. Yeah. Weird. Mm -hmm. I got caught in there. Yeah, we're passing Sylvester. <laughs> How far away from our destination? Two and a half hours. Close enough to make that reservation? Yeah. Yes, well. And you sure it doesn't have bed bugs? Yeah. Let me see the photo of it because you're talking about Alabama here. Okay. I 
have to make the reservation unless I'm like close to the hotel. Mm -hmm. Did the price go up? It turns to be way too late. The price is going up. You went too late. How much did it go up? Went a whole lot more? Yeah, it went up like 50 bucks. No way. How much is it now? Two or three. Gosh, we might as well go to the Florida Beach at that point. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, you can't make a reservation if you don't know where we're going to end up, you know? Hey, what about the uh, the other hotel we should stay in that time? I know it's not our choice brand, but that's a lot. We could have stayed in Atlanta for that kind of money. Yeah. Or we could push it even further and, and make it to Birmingham. Yeah, that sounds good. So, what's the one in Birmingham we said last time? Hold on, let me try. I'm on something else, so. Okay. And I'll tell you. Dude, $50 is a huge difference. That's our profit margin for the whole day, really. Yeah. We don't really make a lot of money when we're on the road. I don't know if you guys know that. Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. I can't believe uh, The other place is sold out. Oh, but the they do have, yeah. yeah. Uh, they do have other, other both of them. And I'm not staying in the hotel, so. What about the ones we stay at in um, Columbus? Excuse you. Excuse me. Excuse me. the other hotel we used to stay at in that time? Uh, that's already sold out. That one too? Yeah. The other brand? Mm-hmm. Huh. And the other hotels are so old. Alright guys, I'm gonna check out. We gotta figure out where we're gonna sleep tonight. Yeah. 